G'day there, Craig from Fully Air Condition. Today we're going to go through and show you the standard setup procedures that we would uh, do on the Dakin uh, wall controller. This is the standard wall controller, it's the BRC1E63. Uh, it's connected to a ducted system at the moment. Um, it can be connected to lots of other style systems, but the one we're talking about is specifically to do with ducted. Uh, we're going to set up fan speed and sensor location and how the fan cycles and have a look at a few of the other settings. Okay, so this is how the controller comes standard. Um, it's got whatever mode it's in, could be auto, fan, heat, cool, dry, fan speed setting and temperature set point. Uh, we want to take it into the setting mode, um, so just push any button lights the screen up, then we want to push and hold down our return button. So we hold that down for about five seconds. Okay, you're gonna to have to excuse me, dog keeps coming in and barking at the door and stopping me from recording, so I've brought him into the room, so you might hear him um, walking around and... Here he is. This is Arlo, he's a toy cavoodle. Say hello Arlo. So if you hear something in the background, it's just him. Okay, here we have the controller as set from standard, it just has heat, cool, auto, fan, dry at the top, fan speed and temperature setting. So again, to setting modes, we just want to push the enter button just to light the screen up. Once the screen's lit, we can push and hold down the return button for about five seconds. This will take us into um, the server settings list and then from there, we want to go down to field settings. Push enter again. Now the first one we come to is mode 20. So in mode 20, we want to adjust the 22. Um, so 22 dash, you've got 01, 02 and 03. So from factory, it's set to 02. And that is uh, the sensor is active and sensing from the return air. So that's the sensor just as the air goes into the back of the air conditioning unit up in the roof. Um, we can change that to 03 and O1. So O1 alternates between this thermistor here and the return air thermistor in the uh, indoor unit. O2 is just looking at the indoor thermistor and O3 is now just looking at this wall mounted controller. So we set it to this because this is within the condition space and this is going to give us the most accurate temperature. When it's set to return air temperature uh, you'll often fi find it will under heat or over cool. So the most accurate setting is here. So once we've set that, enter, yes. So we're saving that setting. Uh, the next one we want to go to is to 22. So 2203 is the fan, how it cycles on the thermostat um, when the thermostat is, is satisfied. So at the moment, it can be set to 01, 02, and 03. 01 is low, low. So it's a fan speed below low. Um, that means that when, when the thermostat here is satisfied, instead of the fan turning off, it just continues to run and runs in low, low fan speed. That can produce a bit of a, a draft and make it feel cold. Uh, so we like to change that. The next setting is O2, and that's set fan speed. So whatever the fan speed was set to, low, medium, or high, it will stay there and still pump out the same amount of air, but the compressor won't be running, so therefore won't be heating. Um, and again, that's even worse. You get even more cold air blowing on you. And then O3, well, that's set to cycle off. So once the thermostat is satisfied here and we're at the right temperature, the compressor turns off and also the fan. So that's the one we want to set. So push enter, yes. So the next one I want to set is 22.6.03. So it current, and that's for cooling cycling, cycling the fan off. It's currently set to 02. And again, uh, you have 01, 02, and 03. 01 is low, low. 02, set fan speed on the controller. And 03 is off. So we want to set to 03. Enter, yes. Okay, so the next setting we're gonna set is fan speed. So we wanna to go to 23, and then six. Uh, 
04. With the fan speed, you'd need to adjust it. The, the best way I think to adjust it is make sure you've got, if you have zones, have them all open. Uh, turn the fan to high speed. And you want to be able to put your hand down on the ground and feel air coming out of the vent and hitting your hand on the ground. Just a slight breeze. So that would set up the high fan speed. Then it's automatically selected the two fan speeds below that. So we've already done that for this one and we need um, fan speed four. And four is pretty low, uh, but this system is sort of oversized for this space that it's doing and it only has three outlets. But typically you'd be looking to set this up at like 13, 14, 15 on your average um, ducted system, I would say. But this one here is just a little bit different. Um, yeah, so once we've set that, then we want to escape from there. So we hit the return button. So at the moment it's saying checking condition, please stand by. So this is actually burning all the information that we just um, have put into the controller and burning it into the EEPROM of the indoor unit. So if you get a power failure, uh, you disconnect this controller, put a different controller on, this information is actually stored back at the indoor unit. So it's burnt onto the EEPROM, it, it won't be lost, and that's how the system's gonna operate unless you override it. So now we come back to the main screen. So now it still doesn't have a lot of detail there. The next thing we're gonna set is to make it so we have more detail showing. So we push enter, and we go down to configuration, enter, and then display, enter. And display mode is standard. Enter, and we want to change that to detailed. Enter. So now it's got the time and uh, the day of the week. So now we want to show the temperature inside. So again, we go enter into main menu, down to configuration, enter. Then we go to display, enter. Display items, it's currently none, enter. So we have the choice of none, system, room temperature, outside air temperature. So we want to look at room temperature. That's this thermistor here. So this is the one that's active. It's the one that's controlling the unit, the one that's cycling on and off. So that's the one we want to look at. Enter. So there we go. It's the room temperature now set for 20, is reading 22 and our set point's 22. So that's the, that's the basic setup that we would normally do. Well, uh, thanks again for watching and hope this helps with um, setting up your air conditioner. Cheers. You can't sleep at night because it's hot as hell inside and you think you're gonna go insane. Or when you're having no fun because your hands and toes are numb, you only need to remember one name. Keep the winter chills away till the summer.